Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for October 9th. October 9th is the 282nd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 283rd in leap years with 83 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is intaglio. Intaglio is a noun that means an engraving or incised figure in stone or other hard material depressed below the surface so that an impression from the design yields an image in relief. It can also refer to the art or process of executing intaglios or printing done from a plate in which the image is sunk below the surface like an etching. Intaglio can also refer to something like a gemstone that is carved in intaglio. This would be the opposite of a cameo, where the design is in relief above the surface. The word intaglio evolves to us through Italian, originally from a Latin term that meant to cut. First known use of the word intaglio is 1644. Intaglio. Today's word intaglio was suggested by YouTube viewer at KMM129. Thank you so much. If you have a word you'd like us to examine in this Word of the Day segment, drop it in the comments and we'll take a look at it. And with that, October 9th, 1410 is the first known mention of the Prague Astronomical Clock. It's located in Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic, and is the third oldest astronomical clock in the world and the oldest clock still operating. Kepler's supernova appeared in 1604 and was visible to the naked eye. It was so bright it was visible even during the day for over three weeks. The Cincinnati Reds won the World Series on October 9, 1919, resulting in what came to be known as the Black Sox scandal. White Sox were expected to win, but they were prevailed upon by gamblers to throw the game. They were good at throwing the game in that they managed somehow to lose, but they were not very good at throwing the game in that it was hideously obvious that they were attempting to throw the game. And so there were several of them there that got banned from baseball and consequently banned from the Hall of Fame. On October 9, 1936, Boulder Dam began to generate electricity to transmit to Los Angeles, California. It would later be renamed Hoover Dam. This is the birthday of the late John Lennon, born October 9, 1940. He is, of course, best known for being one of the Beatles. He formed a music group in the 1950s when he was 15 years old, and he met Paul McCartney the following year. They played together. Along the way, they added George Harrison, became the Beatles. Ringo Starr was asked to join the Beatles in 1962 after the previous drummer, Pete Best, left the group. And there you have it. John Lennon is credited with 11 studio albums, 3 live albums, 15 compilation albums, 23 singles and more. Sadly, he was killed at age 40 by a deranged individual. Were he still alive, John Lennon would be turning 83 today. May he rest in peace. This is the birthday of American actor and producer Tony Shalhoub, born October 9, 1953. He's an actor of stage, screen, and television, widely recognized for his work as a character actor. He does play, he does play some characters, that's for sure. He's played many parts, but I think my favorites are as the pawn shop owner in The Men in Black and Detective Adrian Muck. <laughs> in honor of John Lennon's birthday, today's song is the first Beatles song I remember hearing way back in the way back, I Want to Hold Your Hand. Written by John Lennon and Paul McCartney, this sweet, happy love song was recorded in October of 1963, released in December of that year. I Want to Hold Your Hand was the Beatles' first American number one hit, reaching number one on the Billboard Hot 100 on February 1st, 1964, and holding that spot for seven weeks. I Want to Hold Your Hand by the Beatles. Link in the description. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. 
If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That playlist lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that's called No Really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, BitChute, and Odyssey. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. This is the birthday. I didn't get that. Could you try again? I wasn't talking to you. Phone. <laughs> okay. Cacophony is a sound. <laughs> Cacophony is a noun that... I'm going to have to look that up. Mm. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. You got to read it the right way. Let's start over. <laughs> eight o'clock so all of the reminders are going to be dinging I forgot to turn those off <laughs> okay stop it don't alienate people who can be helpful to you flinging happiness all over the place all right back to work I think we got it this time <laughs>